Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I figured I've been seeing people do a lot of like life vlogs, like a day in the life of a poet and things of that nature. So I figured I'd do something a little like that today. It is 11 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. I have been up for about an hour and some change. And I forgot to start doing this. I planned to do it, and then I just completely fucked it off. I did not even remember. So usually what I do in the morning, this is fucking nerdy, so get ready, okay, guys? Um, in the morning, I wake up and have a bunch of coffee, as much coffee as I could take in. And I listen to wrestling news. <laughs> because I barely have time to watch wrestling anymore. And I loved wrestling since I was a fucking kid. But um, I like to keep up with shit that's going on and stuff. But I usually just listen to wrestling and drink coffee. So that's kind of my uh, morning ritual, I guess. It's pretty, pretty shitty. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it. So yeah, so right now I'm going to make some breakfast and get ready to do all the rest of the shit I have to do today because I have a live stream in about an hour. Posted uh, the podcast, the audio version of episode 22 up on YouTube today for the YouTube folks. Oh, so now I'm going to make some bacon and some egg and then I'll make some more coffee, and make some cigarettes. So while the bacon's cooking, um, I put it in the wrong pan. I do this all the fucking time. I keep thinking, I'm like, oh, it'll fit in this pan. And then I go to fucking put the bacon in, and it's too long. So then I have to, like, cut it in half. And then I'm like, oh, shit, I got too much bacon in my hand. So then I have to get another pan. So I have two pans of bacon going. Bacon in the little pan got a little burnt. Doing this whole thing with a camera on top of everything is fucking tricky as shit. I'm just gonna say it. But now I'm gonna make some eggs in the bacon fat. <laughs> Okay, everybody, I don't know if you got to see my plate. I'll, I'll show it to you again. But so I got my bacon and eggs here. I do like my bacon burnt to shit. Oh my fucking God. Milk bomb, motherfucker. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a chilada. There's a lot of stuff you can do if you want. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take some Wooster sauce and just do a little, but you just want a little bit, like not a lot, like, Barely cover the bottom of the glass, okay? Tabasco, two to four in a small glass. I'm gonna put some on my eggs too real quick. So I'm gonna take a little bit of pepper and a little bit of tahine, not taijin, it's tahine, folks. Just do a little bit, you don't need a lot of that. And then crack open your beer. Now, if you want to put, so like when you're done, it should look like that, like just like a bit of a mess at the bottom of the cup. If you want to put salt in here, you can. If you want to put garlic powder in here, you can. If you want to put onion powder in here, you can. When I'm making Bloody Marys, I usually do. Oh my gosh, I forgot the most important thing. Hang on. Tomato juice. Jesus Christ, I always forget tomato juice. Oh, this is like my healthy shit for the day. So yeah, I season my chiladas way more than I season my fucking eggs, dude. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, you just put a little bit of the tomato in there, get some bacon, stir your drink with some bacon, as you do. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's a breakfast. So I figured I would um, 
talk to you a bit while I'm eating. I made way too much bacon. I don't know how I fucked that up. I guess I'm gonna have to speed this up. Let me tell you what. But this right here, this will probably be the only thing I eat today because I like to save my calories for liquids. Um, I usually don't eat breakfast until about four o'clock, but because I'm doing this, I'm like, oh, I should do like a thing. You know you fucking cooked your bacon too far when you go like this? And you can fucking hear it. Well, yesterday, um, I put out the new chapbook, Last Chance. I have to do a newsletter. I have to do an Anarchy Crew video and post it. I have to go on Author Central because I saw that some books that I'm a part of um, are not, I, I'm not on yet. So I got to do that. What else do I have to do? I have to get my shipments ready for the post office tomorrow. I have a giant list and I need to look at it, but it's on my phone. So I'll have to look at that in a bit. I fucking love breakfast meat. I'm not going to fucking lie. It's kind of the best thing in the world. And honestly, let me know if you like this shit. Because um, I guess I could do this more. I don't know if you guys think my life's that fucking interesting. I like my bacon burnt, but it mm, went a little too far on this one. So I'm going to show you how to make cigarettes here in a minute. But I do need two hands, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. Okay, that was a lot of bacon. So for those of you who are going to say um, I'm going to clog my arteries, you're probably right. Cheers, motherfuckers. Ah, oh, that's fucking good as shit. Okay, so if there's a little bit left, try to um, finish your beer off with it. It's easier than making multiple drinks. Shares. So that is the tobacco I get. That is 16 ounces. So I get two of these. Um, five boxes of this, um, cigarette tubes, for about 50 bucks. With shipping, it's like 60. But again, that is a thousand cigarettes because it's 200 per box. And I usually run out of cigarettes before I run out of tobacco. And then I put them in this thing. So let's see how this works. All right. Okay, let's see. Um, I could probably fit enough in here with this. And see, you got your little cigarette and your little pack thing. Perfect. <laughs> So today on the stream, what we're going to be doing, and I don't know how it's going to go, I'm going to be talking about concussions, and I'm going to be talking about voting, because I have my um, voting ballot shit, my early, I don't know what the fuck it is. And there are a couple propositions that I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with, so I'm hoping people can give me some insight if there's any California Yanes. Okay, so I just checked, and there are a couple things that I still have to do today. I have to put up Black Market Blood Drive on Amazon, and I have to go through the Poetic Anarchy Volume 3 manuscript and just give it one more look-see and make sure everything's fine and that the page numbers reflect correctly and do the front matter and the back matter and make sure that's all good. And then um, with Horrywood, that Kindle Vela serial, I think what I'm going to do is just every Tuesday post. So that'll be kind of my thing. I might try to gun out a bunch of chapters real quick, but yeah, that's the plan. Um, I have to do the Author Central stuff on Amazon. I have to do the newsletter. I have to do the live stream have to do the Poetic Anarchy video and have to 
um, package up shipments for tomorrow. Because, like, again, I only go to the post office once a week. So if you buy something Monday night, you're not going to, it's not even going to go in the mail until next Monday. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, I guess that's it. So I'll see you on the live stream. Hey everybody, um, the live stream is going to start in about five minutes. But one thing that I do is I have this thing and um, it's got a counter on it and I could tighten it. But I, I do realize I smoke a lot and if I'm not like constantly drinking something or eating something, I will be smoking. So I try to keep my hands busy. So I do this a lot and that um, if anyone was ever around, this would drive them fucking crazy, especially when I go like. So I do that. Do I have an exciting life? I need you to tell me. Do you guys want to see what's going on outside? Let's let's look outside. So that's outside. There's the Hollywood sign. That's kind of nice. Nice little Hollywood sign. And here's the street. Let's come back out a bit. That's the street. That is... LA. That's um, where those tall buildings are. That's basically Koreatown. And if you see, let me see, can I zoom in? That tall building with the kind of brassy green thing right there, that is um, the Southern California Law School or whatever, where Camille Vasquez went, where Emily D. Baker went. And that is where my post office is, right across the street from that. So that's where I go for that. And that's the yellow block. If you ever hear me talking about the yellow block, it's that thing right there. People sit on it after they come up that hill right there. You might not be able to tell, but that's a pretty fucking steep hill. This one's even worse, if you can see down. Don't want to drop my fucking phone. And there's a ghetto bird. I missed it. So yeah, so um, thank you for being here today for this live stream. Um, as you might not know, because you're looking at me right here, looking at me right here is another camera that is filming a day in the life of a poet vlog. So um, there's that. An hour goes by of me talking about absolutely nothing, and then all of a sudden at the end it got all serious. But um, we were talking about all of my stuff that I have written and finished that I haven't put out yet. Because I'm trying to stagger releases and shit like that. And I was thinking, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't stagger anything, I should just put everything out all at once and just say fuck it, and here's everything. So then Bunny says... Oh yeah, like do paperback versions of Black Star Canyon. And I'm like, oh my God, I was gonna do something like that because next year, for those of you who don't know, is the 10th anniversary of the Black Star Canyon series. Now, if you look up Black Star Canyon on Amazon, you're not gonna find anything because a couple years ago, I redid all the covers and change the names of the books to have the novels have individual titles. So instead of it being like Black Star Canyon season one or going through all the individual episodes like one through 25, there's um, Black Star Murder, Black Star Killer, Black Star Creature, Black Star Revenge, and Black Star Ablaze. And but I wanted to do something cool for next year, for the anniversary. And so we were talking, and it sounds like everyone thinks it would be even cooler if I put all the books and all the extra shit into a giant hardcover edition. Like a complete volume. Like a big-ass fucking thing like that. 
Oh, that's still smoking. I fucked up. And when I say everyone, I just mean the people who were in the stream talking. So now I'm like, shit, should I do just like a big fuck you hardcover? I fucking hate hardcovers. But that might be cool. I don't know. But it would be almost a thousand pages. Maybe I'm gonna have to check because one of the books is like almost, I think the longest book is like 380 pages, maybe more. Shit, I don't know. And the smallest book, I think, was almost 200 pages. So maybe it would be more than a thousand pages. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. So we are at um, KDP right now. And this looks a little different than it used to. So I'm creating an ebook. We are going with Black Market Blood Drive. Um, maybe I should do something. Um, Vampire Crime. Oh, nope. Crime Novel. Now let's just say Vampire Crime. And then I'm just going to write my name in here. And then with the description, since this was published a long time ago, I think I'm going to use this same thing. Let me see if this works. Sex, booze, organized crime, and vampires. Duke just got out of jail and found out his girlfriend left him. All he wanted was a stiff drink, and what he ended up with was working for the largest vampire clan in Southern California at a bar called The Trap. Can Duke survive being human in the middle of the largest vampire clan war in recent memory? Take your bite out. Take a bite out of your copy today. That sounds kind of stupid, but I'll leave it. Okay, what keywords did I have for this? Oh, this is when I was just doing one. Okay, yeah, let's not do it like that. So, this is a little trick. I don't know if they've cracked down on this or not. But um, you can put as many things in here as you want. So, um, vampire, vampire crime, vampire clan, vampire... Um, now let's go to erotic vampire um, vampire erotica what else do people search for dark fantasy oh I spelled that wrong fantasy um, what's another thing urban okay I ran out of space so, urban fantasy, Southern California, organized crime. I can't put that there, so let me think of something else. What? Mob. Oops. Mob. Mafia. Organized crime. Drugs. Poison War Vampire War Vampire Clan War Paranormal Fantasy Character Gang be able to fit that. Maybe I could fit that up here. Suspense. Okay, good enough. And then what categories did I have for it? Um, contemporary fantasy, urban fantasy. Okay, let's do um, dark fantasy, urban fantasy. Okay, we'll do urban fantasy. We'll do horror. Let's see how that goes. I don't think that's going to do very well, but we'll We'll check it, and if in a couple months it's not selling well, I'll come in here and change it. Okay, save and continue. Upload manuscript. I actually have no idea where the cover is. Okay, I wonder if I should just check this 
book real quick and just make sure it's the one I think it is. I'm gonna do that. Save and continue. I could have put a publisher in there. I probably should have. Two ninety nine. All territories. I don't know if I want this in KDP Select. I think I will wait just a little bit. Publish your Kindle ebook. <sighs> okay, perfect. Okay, so here's the deal. If you guys know this, please help me. This action needed, we're unable to verify your banking details. All of my banking details are fine, but the only market that I'm having some sort of trouble with is the UK store. And I don't know why, but it's no matter what I do, it's like I'm not getting my payments from the UK. And I probably should just contact Amazon directly and just ask them what the fuck's going on. But I keep forgetting to do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into Author Central, which I, for some reason, have under a different account because I'm a douchebag. Oh, wait, no, I do have it under this account looks good so if you have your books up on amazon and you have not attached your author name to these books you need to do that right away um and i'll show you why in a second here yes i would like to do this um uh add it now yes okay so um we're not home Yes, this is the book. Add this book. One moment, please. God, he didn't even fucking list me. That sucks. Okay, fuck it. Um, add it now. Okay, um... Add this book. And look at all of my books. Show more, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all this stuff. What? What goes here? That's weird. Oh my god, that's Bloodless Romance. Where is it? Okay, this is fucking ridiculous. Okay, it says it's added. But it wasn't on the page. Okay, whatever. So that was the next thing I had to do today. So what's next? Okay, this is going to be last chance with like a happy face, but I'm not going to do that here. I'll go here you go. And then I'll do an emoji of a present or something. Boom. That looks good. <clears throat> Normally, I just um, do a thing, a new one every time. But because there's so much shit they put in this, that it's easier to just, like, copy and redo it. Because it, like, it just takes forever. Yeah. Okay, let's just delete all of it. I'm going to start sending a free poem every week through my mailing list because I feel like my mailing list is more important than my website. So to let my mailing list know that, I'm going to start letting them know that they're more important than my website. So I'm going to do that. What, did you want to go get some food right now? Is that what you, you wanted to come get me and get food? Yeah, let me just finish this email and then I'll come down. I guess next I will package up my shit and get ready for the post office tomorrow. Went to get some food. 
and now I am not out. Although I am in the parking garage. But now I am heading somewhere else. God, I'm so bad at this. This is really shit. So I got home and there wasn't a spot in front of the building or anywhere on the street. So I went and parked in the parking garage across the main road over here and parked up on the fifth floor, fucking walked all the way fucking back up this long ass fucking road. As you can see, it is kind of a long, steep hill. And I realized once I got home that I don't remember if I locked my car. So, fuck. So now, I get to do all of this all over again. And here's the vacant lot that I think would be a good place for a tiny house community if they were able to do it. I don't know. But yes, I'm walking in the middle of the street because I would rather walk in the street than on the sidewalk. For obvious reasons. Oh shit. Heard that. Wedding. The suckers. Did I lock the fucking car? If I fucking locked the car and came all this fucking way back, I'm gonna be pissed. Nope. I didn't. Good to know. Do it another time. There it is. <sighs> I have to pee so bad I should have done it before I left the house. God damn it. Oh, wait. So yeah. Turns out I realized I didn't lock the car. So I'm actually kind of glad. That tells me my stupid spidey senses are accurate. So that's fucking cool. It's so funny how, I don't know if this is how it is for you, but for me, unless somebody wants to go out and get lunch or something, I don't eat. And like earlier today, I was like, that's fucking disgusting. I won't show you that. So yeah, so earlier today, I was like, oh yeah, I'm probably not going to eat anything today other than this. This guy's coming fast, so I'm going to fucking hurry the fuck up. But then a friend of mine, hey, I'm out front, do you want to go get a pollo loco? And I'm like, yes, 
Yes, I do. So, it's just funny how shit like that works. I think there's glass in my foot. Not 100%. That is I don't know if you can hear that ice cream truck, but he's driving me crazy. Okay, so the next thing I have to do here is, um, with the Anarchy crew right now, I am going over everyone's one night poems that we did together. We like got on a Zoom call together and we all tried to write as many poems as we could in one night. And so what I've been doing, instead of just doing like one, like live stream with them afterwards talking about how I thought they did. I've been trying to do individual videos that I guess explain what their poetry, like what I feel from their work, but also try to get an idea of where they're going with their work, where they see it going and kind of what the idea for like their future work is, if that's something that could be found out with something like this. So I'm going back through Nate's poems right now, Nate Colton, and um, I'm gonna give him another run through and then I'm going to record a video for it. crew and welcome to this video where we are going through Nate's one night poems eight o'clock and I am finishing editing uh, the podcast that is going to go up next Saturday. Um, the podcast episode for Wednesday is done um, and this one is the audio from the um, Sims poetry workshop I did. And then after this, after I'm done with this, uh, there's another like five minutes, 10 minutes of audio to edit. Once this is done, I'm going to relax for a minute and get ready for my evening ritual. And then I'll let you see that when that's happening. Okay, so I finished the podcast episode. I have to do a uh, intro and an outro to it and I'll do that tomorrow, I guess. <sighs> but I just realized I haven't packaged any of my shipments out. Like haven't packaged them up for the mail tomorrow. I might do that now or I might just do it in the morning cuz I'm lazy and tired. I did the dishes. I did a ton of dishes. All those pans I was cooking bacon in. 
that was kind of a bitch. I don't know. Um, if you see a video in here of me packaging shit up, that means I'm packaging things. If not, um, I don't know. I'll probably hit you up again when I open the wine. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Yes. Um, so now you get to see the actual work that I do. It is now 11.32 a.m. And for the last mm, three hours, I've been editing together all of the ridiculous crap that I did today. So I think if I were to do this more often, it would be a once a week thing and not trying to do a whole day because uh, this has been kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, so now what I do is I'm going to get my glass, get my wink and L, and now I am going to play bird. and take out any little words that I don't want in this. I usually don't do this until the next day, but we're here, so just figured I'd do it. Also have some other poems I think I wrote. So anyway, so yeah, so I just write the rest of the night until I get stupid and go to sleep. And that is... That is the day in the life of this poet. If there's anything that you would actually like to hear me do or see or whatever, please let me know. That would be cool. So, until next time... This video was way too fucking long, and I will see you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the Creo or the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video, and if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.